Good morning, my name is Maristi Kartika Uni and I will talk about uh, semantics What is semantics? Semantics is the study of meaning in language Semantics play a lot part in our daily communication, understanding and language learning without us even realizing it For example, in everyday use, a child might make us of semantic to understand a mom directive to do your course as do your course whenever you feel like it. However, the mother was probably saying do your course right now. The theory of semantic the first is formal semantic. Formal semantic use technique from math, philosophy, and logic to analyze the broader relationship between language and reality, truth, and possibility. The second is lexical semantic. Lexical semantic discontrol words and phrase within a line of text to understand the meaning in term of context. The third conceptual semantic conceptual semantics deal with the most basic concept and form of a word before our talks and feeling added context to it. The first step in working out a theory of what meaning is is to recognize distinction clearly and always to keep in mind whether we are talking about what speaker mean or what words mean. Speaker meaning is what a speaker mean when he use a piece of language. Sentence mean is a is what a sentence means. The same sentence are used by different speaker on different occasion to mean different things. Gap between speaker meaning and sentence meaning is such that it is even possible for a speaker to convey a quite intelligible intention by using sentence whose literal meaning in contradictory or nonsensical. Mm. That's all for me. Thank you. Now, we are going to talk about sentence, utterance, and preposition in Unit 2. Before that, we need to know about basic notion in semantic. Notion deals with meaning. Meaning as the idea or intention lying behind a piece of language. Meaning is the thing referred to by a piece of language. Meaning is the translation of words between languages. Then, there are three basic notions, sentence, utterance, and proposition. The first is sentence. Sentence is a neither a physical event nor a physical object. It is conceived abstractly a string of words put together by the grammatical rules of language. Because it is a grammatically complete string of words expressing a complete thought, this excludes any string of words that doesn't have a verb in it. A sentence is a complete expression in a language. For example, I would like a cup of coffee and please put it in the kitchen. An example of not sentence is coffee please and in the kitchen. There are characteristics of sentence. The first is grammatically correct. Because sentence is a complete thought, it must be grammatically correct. The second is can be true or false. The statement can be true or false as long as it is well structured. The third is in a particular language. The sentence is well formed in all particular language. 
Second term is about utterance. Utterance is an act of saying. It has time, place, speaker, language, but no special form or content. It is any stretch of talk by one person before and after which there is a silence on the part of that person. And an utterance is used by a particular speaker on a particular occasion of a piece of language, such as sequence of sentences or a single phrase or even a single word. In short, utterance is associated with speech. To speech is basically mean to say something. Utterance is something spoken. Characteristic of utterance It can be grammatical or not. They are spoken. They are physical events. Utterance is a piece of language. It can consist of a single word, phrase, sentence, or sequence of sentence. It has specific time, place, speaker, language, but not specific form or content. Usually, quotation marks are used to indicate an utterance. For example, help and I like apples. We usually use quotation marks in dialogue session. And now the last one is about proposition. Proposition is that part of the meaning of the utterance of a declarative sentence which describes some state of affairs. Proposition is also the content of a sentence on the basis of the meaning of a simple statement, which can be true or false. In short, proposition is an idea or a concept. Thus, if there is any conceivable set of circumstances in which one sentence is true, while the other is false, we can be sure that they express different proposition. In uttering a declarative sentence, a speaker typically asserts a proposition. For example, 2 plus 2 is 5. This declarative statement doesn't have to be true. There are two kinds of proposition. The first one is true proposition. It is correspond to facts, and the second one is false proposition that doesn't correspond to fact. Okay, now uh, we are going to summarize the material before. The, the relationship between sentence, utterance, and proposition could be represented schematically in the three diagram below. In the highest in the highest position is proposition and then sentence and the last one is utterance proposition is the highest because it is the most abstract because it is only an idea or a concept we cannot hear proposition and utterance is the least abstract because it is concrete or physical and it is spoken so we can hear it okay that's all for me Thank you, we are going to learn about the next materials in Unit 3. Hello, my name is Ahmad Sofan Ibrahim and I'm going to explain the Unit 3, Reverence and Sense. Reverence and Sense are the two ways of talking about the meaning of words and other expression. Sense is dealing with the relationship inside the language. While reference, while reference is dealing with the relationship between the language and the world, both reference and sense are different but related aspect of semantics. By means of reference, a speaker indicates which thing or people are being talked about. Reference is something having physical existence. For example, my son is in the beech tree. In the sentence, my son acts as a reverend, which is a person, and the beech tree also acts as a reverend, which is something. And reverend of part of a language is a thing or people that exist in the world, even something or someone that not exist, but we believe they are available. Maybe some of us believe in ghosts, some of us believe in magic. Yeah. There's a lot of things that we can't see or not exist, but we believe they are available. 
And then there is a question like, uh, can a part of language, like word or expression, have more than one reference? Well, some expression in a language can have variable reference. For example, the word orange. The word orange can refer to a two things. The first one is orange as a fruit, and the second one orange as a color. And then some other expression never refer to a different references on it only belong to one and only thing. For example the moon. When we talk or speak about the moon, well we know that the moon is the satellite of the earth, the one and only. And the other expression can have a constant reference. There is a very little constancy of reference in language. Almost all of the fixing reference come from the context according to the circumstances, like time, place, etc., which is expression are used. For example, there is a three sentence over here, which almost similar. The president of the United States of America in 1997 was George W. Bush. And then the second sentence, the president of USA in 2006 was Blaine Clinton. And then the president of USA in 2009 was Barack Obama. And then there is two different expressions that can have the same reference. For example, the morning star and the evening star. This, like, yeah, when we saw planet Venus, we call it the morning star and the evening star because planet Venus appear in the morning and in the evening and then Sukarno and the first president of Indonesia well we say Sukarno we know that he is the first president of Indonesia but also when we say who is the first president of Indonesia we know that he is Sukarno and then the next material is about sense the sense of a part of a language like word or expression is a place in a system of semantic relationship with other expression in the language. Sense is something which doesn't have any physical existence in the world. Sense dealing with intralinguistic relationship called semantic relationship and then one of the semantic relationship is sameness of meaning in words, phrases and sentences. Also, there are more than one expression or sentences that can have the same sense. For example, Rupert took off his jacket. It is equal with Rupert took his jacket off. It's only a different order of the sentence of the word. And then in some cases, the same word can have more than one sense. For example, there's a two sentence over here. The first one, I have an account at the Bank of Scotland. And then the second one, we steer the raft to the other bank of the river. The word bank was written in a exactly same order, B and K. But in the first sentence, bank referred to a building to store the money. But in the second sentence, the word bank means the edge of a river. Well, it's the same word, but it can have more than one sense. And then in some cases, like sentence, have a different sense. For example, the chicken is ready to eat, the chicken is ready to be eaten, and the chicken is ready to eat something. The first one, the chicken is ready to eat, it can mean mm, some meaning, some definition. The chicken is ready to eat can be mean that the chicken is alive and it is ready to eat something, I mean eating their food, or that the chicken is ready to eat mean that the chicken is already cooked and we as a human are prepared to eat it. And the second sentence, the chicken is ready to be eaten, which means that the chicken is already cooked, is already processed and it's already to be eaten by human, by us, or by, well, something else that eat chicken. And then the third sentence, the chicken is ready to eat something, 
which means the chicken is alive and it's ready to eat something maybe their food their well worms or anything else and then there is a relationship between sense and reference the reverence of expression is often a thing or a person in the world while the sense of an expression is not a thing at all it is an abstraction that can be entertained in the mind of a language user it is difficult to say that what sort of entity the sense of an expression is it is useful to think of sense as that is a part of a meaning of an expression that is left over when the reverence is factored out it is much easier to say whether or not two expressions have the same sense. Yes, I think that's all from me. Is there any? If there is any question, you can ask it to Mr. Widi. And thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.